so let's talk about this 2005 Harley Davidson Superglide. I've mentioned a couple times in my previous videos that there's a lot of things that I want to do to this bike, some things where I need to fix it, and that's what we're going to talk about today. Some of the issues, some of the things that I know on this bike that needs to get addressed. Obviously, in our last video, we talked about the front fork situation. Yeah, these front forks, they're pretty tweaked. They're leaking pretty bad out of the sills. So we're going to have to do a complete fork replacement on them. Um, I've been told by several people that these old twin cam Harley Davidsons that I need to check the cam chain tensioner. So that's going to be another priority on our list. The next priority with any new motorcycle you get is probably the best thing to do is to go ahead and change all the fluids. So we're going to go ahead and knock that portion out also. So those are the basic things that we need to look at. Now let's talk about some of the cosmetics that I don't like about this bike. There's a lot of them. Matter of fact, there's a really long list. Um, when I think Harley Davidson, I think about my dad's old shovel heads from like the late 70s, early 80s. Those bikes, to me, were the quintessential Harley Davidsons, the cruisers, the ones I really enjoy. And that's what I want to do with this uh, Super Glide. I kind of want to give it the old shovel head treatment. That means there's a lot of pieces and parts that I need to address, some things I need to do. The first one of those being is this bike has the 13 spoke mags on it and I am not a mag guy. I, I like the old school stuff. I like the old wire spokes. So I'm going to source out some wheels. The next thing is the tank. Now the Super Glide tank is a really cool tank. Some people think that this is probably one of the best tanks that Harley Davidson ever came out with but you know it doesn't meet up with that old shovel head look that I'm looking for with the dash with the speedo on top of it. I just don't like this speedo right here. It's funky. It's weird. I don't like it. So the tank's got to come up. Uh, the seat's really comfortable but it doesn't look like I want it to look so I'm going to go and source me a solo seat to put on it. The risers and the bars on this bike have to go. Um, it's just a real awkward riding position. It gives me a lot of stress on my uh, my neck. So I think that uh, probably a wise thing to do is go ahead and uh, change out the risers. These pullbacks, uh, they just got to go. Um, another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to keep the narrow glide front end. I kind of dig the look of it, but I'm going to do a 21 inch wheel up front. And I'm going to go ahead, because of the extra size of the wheel, I'm going to go ahead and lower the front end one, maybe two inches so that I can get that bottom of the frame nice and level, nice and low. Some of the other cosmetic things I'm going to do, I'm going to switch out the, the uh, coil spring shocks in the rear for the uh, old pan head, shovel head, fully chrome covered shocks. Um, I might throw some bags on it, you know, just in case uh, we do some long rides or something with it. That's the plan with this bike is to, to actually put some miles on it. Um, the biggest thing, man, listen. That exhaust is obnoxious. I, <laughs> I have to be respectful for my neighbors and I love my neighbors. They're great people. They know that I have bikes. Um, but this uh, this exhaust is way too loud, so I'm going to change out the exhaust on it, which is another one of those cosmetic things. Uh, something on the motor too. I'm going to be changing out. I'm going to change the uh, the air cover on it. Uh, it's just that big oval, you know, generic Harley Davidson style. So I'm going to go to the old shovel head round with the uh, the Harley Davidson logo right on the front of it, and that's essentially it. Um, it's just going to be a cosmetic build, you know, and uh, I think it's going to be something that uh, I can put my name on, that I can be proud of, and uh, that's, I think, what the whole goal of this is, you know, take a motorcycle, regardless of what brand it is, you know, Triumph, Harley-Davidson, Kawasaki, Honda, whatever you may be riding, and make it something that you like, something you enjoy. I think that's what, uh, you know, the the aftermarket community for motorcycles has done. It's given us the ability to 
to take a motorcycle, a modern motorcycle, and make it more something that we can appreciate. So, I'm going to have a video as we get these parts, and I'm going to have uh, a video of me unboxing, saying, hey, what these are, where I got it from. My budget on this build is only $1,500. So, I know what everybody says about Harley-Davidson HD stands for $100. Well, um, we'll see how it is uh, trying to stick to a $1,500 budget. I'm going to have some friends come over and give me a hand during this project. Um, but, you guys are right here with me. So, I thank you guys. I thank all of my Patreons, everybody that's helped me to be able to... Uh, take on this new project and uh we'll see <laughs> we'll see how it goes i i don't nobody's ever gonna make a harley guy out of me um but i think i can make this bike something i could more appreciate so stay tuned going down everybody uh, today we received a lot of stuff for the 2005 Harley-Davidson Dyna Super Glide and I wanted to take an opportunity to invite my family in on this project and I have somebody special in the shop today with me and that's my son Austin what's hey. up buddy uh pretty good I'm <laughs> doing pretty good I mean also what's up is the ceiling the ceiling no not up. the ceiling what? God God's what's up. That's what's up. That's awesome. <laughs> uh, so if you haven't had a chance to meet my son, this is Austin. He is diagnosed with autism, right? Yeah. And uh, it's something fun as a father to be able to have a son who has um, an attention span that's very small unless it's things that he really enjoys. What kind of stuff do you enjoy, buddy? Uh, I love anime. Uh, video games, too. I've been loving Persona 5. Okay. Wink, wink. Wink, wink. See, that's the kind of stuff that he enjoys, and we know what kind of stuff Daddy enjoys. What do I enjoy? Motorcycles. Motorcycles? Yeah. <laughs> what kind of motorcycles? Uh, har no, 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 no. You like Triumphs. I do like Triumphs. Very good. All right, so we have a new motorcycle in the shop, and you literally looked at this a minute ago, and you said, what? What is that motorcycle? So behind us is the new project, the 2005 Harley-Davidson Super Glide. Do you know who gave me that bike? Josh? No, it wasn't Shade Tree. Flip. Wasn't Flip. Who? Uncle Michael. Uncle Michael. <laughs> Uncle Michael gave me this motorcycle. Yeah, it's super cool. Uh, but there are some things about this motorcycle that I don't like. Um, just some things that I just need to fix and address, but I wanted to get your opinion because do you like motorcycles? Eh. Man, <laughs> exactly. I can right? work with it. I, I like it. I, I like to get people's opinions on uh, motorcycles who aren't necessarily motorcycle people. What they look, when they see a motorcycle, what do they uh, enjoy about them? What do they like about them? Uh, what were some, be some things they would change? So that's what I wanted to bring you out today to find out. This is what, the first time you've seen this motorcycle? Yeah. Yeah? And what do you, what do you like about this motorcycle? Uh, it's a pretty heavy kind of thing, but 
for me personally, I don't like how big it is, how wide it is, but it's a very heavy kind of motorcycle. Is that correct? I, have you picked it up? I can't pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it is a very heavy motorcycle compared to a Triumph. A Triumph normally weighs around 300 to 350 pounds. Can you guess how much this motorcycle possibly weighs? 500. You are correct. So they can be around five to 600 pounds. They're, they're pretty heavy motorcycles. We'll find out the exact and we'll punch it in right here at the bottom. 2005 Dyna weighs this much. Ding! Okay. All right. So looking at the motorcycle, what would you change about it? If you could change anything on this motorcycle, what would you change? Uh the white, uh, how wide it is. I would like to shorten it down a little bit and like, also have this part be a little bit more reach outwards. You want to spread out the handlebars? You want yeah. to make the motorcycle a little bit more narrow? Uh, what about the color? Do you like the color of it? It looks like a, it's definitely a project from 2005. Okay, so it, it seems dated is what you're saying. It yeah. looks a little dated for being uh, from 2005. Okay, what um, what else? If you could change anything, what would you change? Do you like the wheels or do you think the wheels could change? Yeah, the wheels can change. The wheels can change? What do you think they should change to? Uh, I don't even know, but it's bigger uh, wheels. Like bigger diameter, bigger round? Okay, all right, I like that. That's one idea and I have. also clean it up. Clean it up, it is kind of dirty. That's a, that's the point of it. Daddy said, I'm not gonna clean this thing until I get it to where I want it to be. The thing about this motorcycle that feels dated is the style. A lot of 2005 products made it feel like it was the 90s, like 90s style product. Well, that was dated, so either fancy up it put in some style have like some cool stuff like maybe have like a metallica look to the harley davidson metallica logo. like the band metallica like some inner sandman style stuff Excellent. yeah that would be cool that would be cool so do you like this air cleaner <laughs> That's an air cleaner? Yep, that's the air cleaner for the carburetor. Do you like that? Is there anything that you like about it or anything you don't like about it? Uh, I like it being right there, but also it needs to get cleaned up again. So clean it up. Do you like the shape of it or do you think we should change the shape? I like the shape of it. I think it works being out there. Okay. Now what do you think about the exhaust? The pipes on it? The exhaust is a lot. Like really man it's like it's shot out maybe you like shorten it up maybe to here mm -hmm. because if it's going if yeah i know like how people think it's cool how it like goes out like that mm -hmm. for my opinion though i don't really like it that way i don't like it turned out like that either uh and this is a really loud motorcycle so I want to make it a little bit quieter. Uh, what do you think about the shocks? Shocks need to be put more in there. So scoot the shocks in. Do you like the, the shape of them? Do you like... I like the shape of them. Maybe you can do something cool with that. Okay. And what about the rear fender? What do you think about the rear fender on it? I like it. You do? Maybe, maybe what do you not. Like? Do you like the tail light? No, the tail light is a little bit out there, but the... You like the shape of it, how it yeah. matches that. Okay, what about the, the last thing I'm going to ask you is, what do you think about that seat? Seat. A little bit too wide, shorten it up. Shorten it up, make it a smaller seat? Yep. Okay. Have it have it end up, end up like that, just like that one. Okay, like Hollywood Run. You like the solo seat thing, huh? And also, um... And to add on to the style, if you do a Metallica look, you already have some of the stuff here. Oh, the spikes. You can do that. <laughs> ah, the spikes. The spikes gotta go. Really? 
Yeah, we're not doing uh, uh I, I think you're taking it back to a 1980s Metallica I know. style. We're I know. not No, we're not gonna go 80s Metallica style. I think right, it could work so, though. So what we're gonna do now is we have a ton of boxes, right? Like a lot of things. A lot. Daddy's ordered a lot of stuff for this motorcycle, and I want you to help me open all of this stuff, and as we open it, I'm gonna say what it is, why I bought it, how much I paid for it, and where we got it from. Sound oh, cool? Oh boy. Oh all boy? Right. All right. <laughs> All right. Oh boy, M mommy's not going to be proud. <laughs> we'll keep that between you and I. <laughs> so the whole point of this building this motorcycle was I said that I wanted to keep the cost low because it was mo uh, the motorcycle was given to me by Uncle Michael. So I wanted to keep the price low, make it something cool that I like and something I can enjoy. But we're going to keep the price under, how much do you think? How much do you think I should keep it under? Yeah, what should my budget be for motorcycle parts? I mean, motorcycle parts are pretty expensive, so at least a thousand five hundred. Dude, that is exactly what I said. One thousand five hundred dollars is the budget for this motorcycle parts. So up top, nailed it. Oh gosh, I oh, thought man. that was gonna hurt. I, I, yeah, you gotta get some owies on your hand. You're, you're fourteen. We don't say owies anymore. You scraped your hand up. All right, so stay tuned. We're gonna open these boxes and check it out. <laughs> hey guys, for the sake of time, we're gonna save the unboxing for the next video because there's a lot of cool footage of me and my son Austin opening up these boxes and I didn't want to take up your whole day watching us do that video. So we're gonna save that for the next video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video, giving you a little sneak peek of what we're gonna be doing for the 2005 Super Glide. To all my patrons, thanks a lot for what you do. It makes a huge difference on doing projects like the Harley. Also, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up, turn on those notifications, hit that subscribe button, and let everyone know what's going on here at Weems Motor Co. Peace.